<clears throat> man, a lot has happened since uh, the last time, man. For y'all that don't know, we're live on the hot seat, and it's your boy Mo Hustle. And right now we're on the the live with uh, Burke Records. What's good with it, man? We're just right here posted, bro. Making music. Making that music, man. So, Before yeah, maybe a lot of... You know what I'm saying? We got some of the crew in the house with us. I'm going to let them introduce themselves so you'll know who's here. Already. The crazy made God no more, brother. I'm all... Uh -oh. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, dog? Here we go. I'll be around. Right here. Sure, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Movement that, that we're here it was dope about representing dope about records and the Boudicca records. So, so I'm always behind them, man. Already. Oh, really? got to say, you know what? Here I come. See you later, homie. Who, who, who else we got up in there? We got the homeboy from Memphis right here, Snow Tanner with us. Okay. We got Two Reach behind me. We got Shoddy behind me. We got Zia. We got DJ. We got Young in Vegas over here posted up. Yeah. A couple more people's names. I'm not but just, you know, lingering around. Right, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, man, you know, uh, I maybe wanted to chop it up about some stuff. Uh, you know, a lot has happened since the last uh, interview. Um, you know, of course, all these podcasters, man, they're grabbing my clips and running with it. So, um, so yeah, I seen the one uh, with uh, Blue Devil, and he's basically, you know, clowning. This this guy's a clown because he's just clowning on everything. He don't even know what the fuck he's talking about at the time, but he tries to sound like a realist. You know, he tries to sound like he knows what the hell he's talking about all the time. You know, uh, so he starts, you know, clowning everybody. He starts clowning me. He starts calling you guys lames and all kinds of crazy stuff, man. So, so what do you guys got to say about that stuff? You know. Well, I took it as disrespect from a person that doesn't know us because we're on a positive energy over here. You know what I mean? We, we yeah. represent unity out here in New Mexico and shit. And uh, in the beginning of the situation, we didn't really speak too much. We just said that we didn't like how that was brought to the table. You know what I'm saying? To the light. It could have been handled better. And a person wants to go on to say that we're some bums and, and this and that and talk all that reckless shit. You know, it got a lot of people in their feelings. Yeah. And in my city, I don't know if you guys probably don't watch the news or or, or the per capitas or any of that shit, but mm -hmm. the murder rate is high as a motherfucker. We don't play out here in Boca. It's the wild, wild west like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I really don't know what to say to someone who's a gimmick. You can't vouch from a couch, you know what I'm saying? Talking all that big ass shit. So yeah. I'm not really gonna say too much, and I'm just we're just gonna give that dude a pass on this yeah. one. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, you know, um, a few podcasters grab grab my clips, and then uh, you know they always do, but uh, I'm sure they'll grab this one. But um, but yeah, I just don't like the way that that guy just be talking reckless, like he just you know, and he says he's he's uh. Yeah, he's the dude's not a fucking bum, I mean, you see it, you see it for yourself. He's sitting right there hiding in some little room, <laughs> running his fucking mouth, talking a whole lot of shit that he ain't gonna say to nobody's fucking face, talking yeah. about we're in America and if we was free to say whatever you want and disrespect to whoever you want, it's my opinion. And that's what you could think. That's what you could think. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that man, and uh yeah, it looks like he's he's doing a Penitentiary podcast over there. And I, and I seen uh, <laughs> I seen uh, Mr. Capone jump on the fucking comments talking about he don't know what the fuck's going on and blah blah blah. It sounded good or whatever the fuck. So mm -hmm. I I went ahead and hit up T Money. You know he stays busy. He got a lot of venues and a lot of business going on with the music shit. So he's mm -hmm. gonna hit me up tomorrow and I'm gonna I'm gonna have him jump on an interview with you and and he could tell the people for himself that that motherfucker called him all scary as fuck. Another thing I wanted to address about Blue Blue Devil or whatever the fuck his name is, Mr. Hater, is what the fuck are you talking about, criminal, locote, all these people we don't even fucking know. You try to bring all these people into some shit that doesn't even exist to us. <laughs> At the end of the day, my homeboy fucking phone got broken. He had car trouble. He's that fucking Hooters. He needed to use a fucking phone. Ain't nobody no fucking bum. You know what I'm saying? We're real motherfuckers over here. 
You're going to talk all that shit from a safe place and never have to answer for that shit because my homeboy want to see you about it. You know what I'm saying? People want to see you about shit like that. You don't just fucking talk shit and talk reckless and expect that motherfuckers are going to be like, oh, he's just a blogger. I'm going to go ahead and let him run his fucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But being the man I am, like I said, we wish everyone the best and the success. We're just trying to get it and make it make it happen. I mean, we're the new Mexican, homie. We represent unity. We represent peace and love and shit. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get it. It's like right. Texas. You guys fuck with every race. The same thing with Burke Records. We fuck with everyone. New Mexico fucks with everyone, bro. We got black, Native American, whites, green, brown, orange, whatever the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? We're rocking with it. We're, yeah. we're, 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 a, we're a different kind of state. You know what I'm saying? It's like Cali got their politics. Uh... Texas got their politics, and over here we're united, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's like there ain't a whole lot of a whole lot of that politicking going on too much. And I'm saying it's just every man for himself. So we stand on man miles over here and shit, and that disrespect shit we don't tolerate. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I I seen on um on one of these pages that uh, Swifty Blue was talking about he was gonna pistol whip him. You know. <laughs> You you know, and basically he's just there sitting there like, you could call me out if you want, but I'm not going nowhere. I'm gonna sit right here. You know, like he's he's safe where he's at, so he, he feels like he could talk that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, these these guys are just. Uh, I don't get it because they're claiming something that means something to people around the world. You know what I'm saying? And then they're gonna get on live and talk all this reckless, crazy shit, and it's just. It's just crazy, bro. It's crazy. Like, that's why we speak on New Mexico politics and shit that's going on over here. My guys that ride with us are from Memphis. They can speak on Memphis shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and if you guys know, Albuquerque and Memphis are at the top of the motherfucking charts for the murder rate right now. Like, this shit's buck fucking wild. And Albuquerque's as big as your hood. You know what I mean? We ain't no big ass city or nothing like that. It ain't nothing to be proud of. But I'm just saying, like, when you start calling us late, the thing we ain't about, and like, we got all the love in this fucking city, in this state, and, and the surrounding states. And I'll say we show nothing but love. So, but when these little motherfuckers want to start running their mouth from the couch, that shit's just pretty lame. I mean, you got a big following. You should be trying to promote the Rasa and do good things for it. You know what I'm saying? And for the music in general, like, or, or what is your platform? It's just hater world, right? That's why it says fuck love on his head because he got no love, right? So that's what you well, get. Well, I, think, I think it's a perfect name for him because the more I watch his stuff, the more of a hater he looks like. It's, it's crazy, <laughs> it's like His world is where all the haters are at, basically. That what sounds like he sniffed up a fucking bag of sconte and can't even breathe through his nose and he's just dur, 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 fucking... <laughs> Going hard that's over what, there. That's what, uh, blue, and he said, "Oh, the Southsiders are gonna love it." Fuck no, Bootkin Records has got mostly Southsiders in our motherfucking label and Streeters. Homie want to be over there, just fucking running that mouth and running that mouth. But in New Mexico, we don't play that shit. I'm gonna let you know right now. Yeah, now, definitely Memphis don't play that shit either. Yeah, I know. I, I know. In the past, you had told me you were connected in Cali and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah no. You used to live out there or what? My dad's from California, rest in peace. But I, my whole dad's side of my family's from California, from LA mm -hmm. and some surrounding parts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's moved around in the, in the years, but yeah. yeah. My G Reach got family out in LA. I mean, a bunch of us got a family in LA. You got to figure like this you disrespect Burke Records. We're 30 deep, homie. So you're going to piss off 30 motherfuckers who got 30 motherfuckers who got 30 motherfuckers that are going to want to see about that fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we're just taking a giant deep breath and just going to, like I said, we're going to give home for our past because it ain't, it ain't worth us feeding into some internet shit and really going and fucking taking measures into some real shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like God, he said, homie, on these fucking phones is fucking just some bullshit. It's just some bullshit that they could talk from a safe place. And when it right. boils down to it, you go look up our music. Go type in Burke Records on the fucking internet. And and anybody who knows us, you guys know us. We've been out there numerous times. You've been out here. We definitely not no fucking bums. And we definitely not broke. We stay on some real shit and we stand on our business. So if you say something about us, I mean, most of the time, chances are we probably ain't even acknowledge it. We ain't going to see it. We don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, everybody's going to comment whatever they think. You can say what you want in the comments. But right. just know we're reading that shit, and we do stand on our business. 
<clears throat> yeah. Uh, I know one thing he, he mentioned also was uh, he said he went and researched y'all's music because he even grabbed your picture and everything, man. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Uh, and, and he need them shirts. We got them on deck, too. Hoodies, bulletproofs, all kinds of shit. We got a lot of merch. You go hit up the Burke Records on fucking YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, any of that shit, and you'll see we're coming with it. We just bought a, a screen print shop, too, so... You know what I'm saying? We could put your name on a t-shirt quick if you guys want us to. You know what I'm saying? Capone, yeah. any of them folks want to hit us up. I got you. We're making merch all day long in Burke. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. knows. Uh, yeah, so one of the other things he said was he researched your music. And, f and first he said, you know, it was all right and this and that. And then he started, you know, the more he talked about it, he started saying, you know, that it was whack and y'all ain't ever gonna make it, just hang it up and all this kind of shit. <laughs> so what do you gotta say about that shit? Yeah. That's 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 I guess like like a lot of people say it, and it ain't everybody in California, because I got a lot of homies in California, but there's a lot of racism and a lot of hate that comes from that way. And it and it sucks, you know what I'm saying? Cause we're trying to build this platform and make it strong for our people to make money and shit and eat together, you know what I'm saying? And these right. motherfuckers want to make it about race and this and that and dinosaurs. And, and what you got to know is music is timeless. It doesn't have an age. It don't have a race. It don't have a gang or a color. It's music. And when you realize that, then maybe your eyes will fucking open. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that dude's getting no sleep, bro. Right. The dude's not sleeping at night. Mm -hmm. and, and it was crazy that that Capone spoke on it. I was like, what the hell? And you know, I think they got some kind of partnership going on because... Every video he makes about us over here, Capone will go say something, and Miss Lady Pinks will go say something about it, too. I've seen a lot of people call that dude out and talk shit, right? And I ain't seen him try to meet not one of those motherfuckers. But your name is Blue Devil. I know in my hood, in my state, if we're calling you a fucking devil, chances are you're shackled down in a level six, homie. And if you squat down, we're going to look to make sure you ain't pushing something out. You know what I'm saying? Like, real mm. killers. So, I don't know, dog. I just don't know. I don't know how how people could let this dude just run reckless and run his fucking mouth to people from other states and other cities and just think it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit's just not cool, bro. It ain't the business. What What do all the other guys got to say about them guys talking down like that? Don't push on with you. We're bums. We're bums with businesses. Got to put the bums that make us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Overall, it was like a motherfucker ain't nothing but three gas tanks away. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just stay all over the motherfucking Southwest region. Shit, dog. I'm in fucking Cali every other motherfucking week, dog. Deep as fuck. See me out there. I'm always sporting my boot game record shit and everything, homie. Deep as fuck, dog. Got it on me and all that shit. What's up, dog? You ever see me out there? Pull up. You already know what it is. Shit. This is 18th Street, homie. Mob shit, dog. Duke City mob won't fuck with it. So like you said, you know, these dudes talk about how we're soft and how we're lame, and we ain't even brought no street shit into it to the homie. Just let a little bit be known, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, we got we got me and my homies from, from different hoods, but but when you disrespect people, bro, it just it goes a long way that and you got to realize what you say and what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because like he says in his video, he has his own problems. He has his own hood, his own shit to worry about, his own family. But when you disrespect people, you don't realize like who you're disrespecting, who you're talking to. Do your research. Albuquerque is not the place to fucking play with. We just do this rap shit for fun. Yeah, like look at the internet, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, he's always saying... You know, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say my opinion. I don't give a fuck. Da, 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 da. You know, I'm like, this dude's fucking crazy, bro. It goes down when you start disrespecting the whole city and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers out there talking reckless. Disrespecting our whole fucking state and our whole city, dog. When you don't know nothing about this motherfucking place. You got to remember, dog, we're right next to the motherfucking border, homie. We're the New Mexicans, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, got to watch out with that shit, dog. You better do some fucking research before you start fucking talking. Look at some statistics and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, 
He's just talking reckless, man. But at the end of the day, like you say, he's just in a safe place. And, and he feels like he could just run his mouth. You know what I mean? Back in the day, somebody would get socked up for doing that. You know what I mean? Right off the bat. <laughs> And, and you know nowadays the way everything is, you can't say nothing or do nothing or you can't promote none of that shit, bro, because it'll just come back on the person that, that really doesn't have nothing to do with the shit. Because the motherfucker's already been in, in so much bullshit. If you say something, they're just going to try to pin it on you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just gotta stay positive and focused and, and soak it up for what it is. Because there's more real motherfuckers than fake motherfuckers. So off of his... Off of his platform, you know, there's got to be way more real motherfuckers that are going to go listen to the music and go, you know what? These dudes are real. These dudes do fuck with all the real ones all over the fucking map. You know what I'm saying? Let me do a little bit of research instead of yeah. just listening to one song and saying, they're pretty dope. But blah, blah, fucking blah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man. Well, shit. That's what's up, bro. Um, these guys are capitalizing. Mr. Capone talking about signing. Texas artists now. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. Fucking, I mean, we do our research too, and I think he's he's got a pretty good history of of signing artists, don't he? Yeah, we see them getting paid, right? I know the only artist I seen getting paid that was fucking with him was after he left him. It looked like it was Mr. Criminals doing big things over there. So shout out to that guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know none of the other ones. I don't pay attention to Cali Rap, to be honest with you, anymore these days too much. But growing up, that's all I listened to. There was a time when I would only listen to Chicano Mexican rap, and it was all Cali Rap mostly, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got I got to pay homage to Cali for their fucking, for, for laying it down, you know what I'm saying? But at the mm -hmm. same time, SPM fucking poured some stone on that shit and, and set it in stone, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah, I know these guys are... Um... I don't know. I know he's he, he he screwed over a lot of artists that were under his label for sure. And uh, you know, it's all over the internet. I'm like, wow, you know. Um I don't think nobody even hung in there with him. If you think about all the artists they had at one point, that nobody's left but Miss Lady uh Stinks right there just, just talking out her ass all day. Yeah, I mean, it's like this, bro. Like we could be on a, on our tour bus, I'll be in LA. And some fools are fucking tripping, and a couple carloads of fools are tripping on us. I mean, because the whole town's mm -hmm. together in these places, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere you go. And these yeah. motherfuckers start chasing us. We, we're, a, we're a bunch of felons, dog. We ain't going to be out there all strapped up and all kinds of crazy shit unless we got follow cars or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Our people from out there are going to pull up for us. But ain't we going to call whoever the fuck is somebody if some fools are, are, are causing smoke with us and we're in your fucking city? You're damn right. You're damn right I'm going to make a fucking phone call. So so me saying he, he did that isn't a lie, homie. You know what I'm saying? It, was, it right. wasn't to get no fucking cloud or no shit like that. It was just I felt like what they did was lame. So I was going to put out some shit that he did that was lame. You know what I'm saying? So that's mm -hmm. why I spoke on it. But like I said, T-Money's going to jump on here and he's going to let y'all know that that shit isn't fucking bullshit. I ain't got no reason to make up shit on Capone. You know what I'm saying? I used to listen to his music. While I was in federal prison, fucking slammed down on Focos Pero Locos every fucking weekend. You know what I'm saying? Keeping yeah. it 100. But I still don't like that shit. I mean, we don't fucking, we don't like that shit over here. And I just respect mm -hmm. the devil is just puts the icing on the motherfucking cake. Disrespecting the audio is fucking the whole state and everything, dog. That shit's disrespectful as fuck. You know what I'm saying? We don't do that shit. Yeah, you know, our hood reaches as far as the motherfucker, so. It's just, it's just fucking stupid. Well, shit, man. You know, we ain't going to touch too much on the subject. I think we said enough, man. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? Yeah, we got some new some new music coming out right now, bro. It's fucking about to be hard. Uh, we've been we've been working real hard to try to get some shit done. Where did I put them at? Let me see. Give me a second. Let me grab this show. I'll show you. All right. What up, Crazy Mexican? What you got going on, man? He stepped out real quick. So this is oh, a new album right here. Oh, yeah, I seen those. Those are dope as hell. Yeah. Pop the clip. You got the USB. Yeah, they come with 23 songs on there, you know what I'm saying, for Christmas. Cool little sides and shit. Fully yeah. loaded. Fully Looking loaded. Like shit. Popping like a motherfucker. Come fuck with us. Oh, shit. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's dope. I'm going to have to send you one out there. Just inbox me the Addy. 
Yeah, those are dope for sure. Yeah, might so be one of those. Might be shout out to the real motherfuckers out there in Cali that are exposing them fucking lanes, that are talking shit and running their fucking mouths, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got love for threats. I like that shit. I like what you're fucking representing, homie. We like what you're doing out of Compton, you know what I'm saying? We fuck with you. Other than that, if you're keeping it real, fuck with us. I've been watching all these interviews and shit. All the people out there showing love. Wicked Records got some nothing but love for you. You guys tune in. Come check out our page. We're going to start dropping a little bit of more fucking uh, music right now. we got a lot of things coming. We've got like 60 tracks almost ready to start dropping. So That's what I was telling Threads, man. I said, man, we need to take you on tour. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe we can bring them to Houston. Maybe we can bring them to Albuquerque. You know, a few other spots. Exactly. You know, just yeah, just some of those new guys out. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. We're 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 actually going to be hitting at least I don't know ten to twenty uh, shows this summer as well. We got a we got a little tour set up, so we will be announcing as it comes. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to be all over the Southwest region. You can come hear us, come see us, come fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? We stay yeah. right. We got nothing yeah. but for everyone out there. Well, that's what's up, bro. Um, Except for the haters. <laughs> much love to you guys, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, made around the whole state. You know what I'm saying? That line that outlines our fucking state of New Mexico, that's the line we draw on the motherfucking dirt. And as soon as you disrespect that shit, then you cross the line. You know what I'm saying? We have a little the, saying out here. It's state of mind. Mind your state. The that's roots are deep. Should the roots are deep. You know, that, you know, I was doing some uh, research on New Mexico and it was saying that the roots are real deep over there. Yeah, bro. Like everybody's families are in Mexico. We got the reservations here. You know what I'm saying? Big as fuck. Shout out to the Navajos, the Apaches, the Pueblos, the Zeals, everybody. You know, I don't know all the names or the correct names, but we, we got a lot of, of people out here, bro. The blacks are with us like a motherfucker and we're with them. We're like one big fucking family out here. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, you got it, big Texas, bro. But at the same time, we have our own our own ways out here. Like you know, what I'm saying everybody has their own swagger, their own styles, their own everything. You know what I'm saying the homie yeah. right here from Memphis is killing. You got to go look up Snow Town. He got that uh, Big Moochie Grape on a song, and and a bunch of things he's doing too. Like we got a bunch coming out right now, bro. Yeah, Memphis is big. I was just chopping it up one of the homies that's uh, signed a little white right now. He, he was at his crib. He was chopping it up. The homie uh, S.A. Flacco. Um, but, yeah, Memphis is big, bro. The, the whole Tennessee, really. It's a big uh, it's, it's, it's a big state with a lot of music history, and uh, it's definitely important. You know what I mean? It's a lot yeah. of times out there. I feel like a lot of people uh, sleep on it, you know, but people need to go out there and, and, and definitely get, it, get up in the mix out there. You can open some doors. Yeah, I agree. We got we got a, a a good population of Memphis people out here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, yeah, that's what's up, bro. We're gonna leave it at that, man. And uh, tomorrow, you know, if your boy comes around, we'll we'll do a little update. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I'll get we'll get with him in the morning or the afternoon time or something, and uh, we will do the update. Cause I rather I rather motherfuckers hear it from the motherfuckers' mouth that it came out of. You know what I'm saying? Cause. I don't got no reason to lie or make shit up. Like, there's a lot more to his story with Capone that he could tell you, you know what I'm saying, that I'm not even going to say that if he wants to tell you, he could tell you, like, a lot of fuck shit, you know what I'm saying? But we'll leave it for that. Right. Well, that's a bet, man. Uh, I know you got a few new guys up in there, but everyone, if y'all want to give out y'all social media, that way people can find you, you know, look up your music. Uh, go ahead. Let, let them have it. Yeah, you can check me out. G Reach, G underscore Reach on Instagram, G Reach on YouTube, Booker Records, all that shit. DCM Shoddy, DCM underscore Shoddy on uh, Instagram. Find us on TikTok, Booker Records. Find me on Facebook, Al Shoddy Chavez. All that your boy, check out our music and shit. You already know what's cracking. Booker Records on Instagram as well. Yeah, uh, your records on Facebook, you know, and jam set features, fucking merch, whatever. I'll have you right there. Gonna have a bunch of hot ass shit. Bam!
You already know. We're popping out here, Doug. You can find us on every single platform, anything that has music, Apple, motherfucking Roku, Spotify, YouTube, all that shit. We got the videos that are living out right now. They're like mini movies and shit, throwing bodies in cars and crushing them and shit. Go peep that shit out. We're doing some real shit. We'll get records in this motherfucker for the 2020, all 2020s. You know what I'm saying? And for those that don't know, go to YouTube, look up the hot seat. Give us a subscribe. Keep yourself updated. Uh, catch me on IG at the Real Mo Hustle, and you can find me on Facebook at Mo Hustle. That's M O Hustle. And if you're it's trying fun. to tap in on them interviews, hit us up. You already know Mo Hustle got the link, or you can tap in with all the all the sites we just told you. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, I just joined. One. Yes, sir.